Hey, this week on Susie and Friends, we've got another boredom buster and we've got some lovely ladies to help us. We have Wakana, we have Shuri, and Koto. <laughs> so, you guys like to hang out at home and do stuff? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Arts and crafts? Yeah. yeah. The three of you. Who's crafty? Yeah. <laughs> who's arty? Oh, really? <laughs> and, I have to, and I have to ask that, who's farty? <laughs> No, I'll say it's me, I'll say it's me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you really enjoy doing arts and crafts? Yeah. Yeah? So you've taught your sisters how to make something? Yep. Yep. What have you taught them? Plastic bag flower thingies. <laughs> oh, plastic bag flower thingies. Just like this plastic bag flower thingy here. Mm. It's gorgeous. Okay. Yep. Are they hard to make? Nope. Where did you first learn to make one of those? Uh, the art festival. Workshop. <laughs> the art festival workshop. <laughs> oh, great. Are you making them quite regularly or are they that easy? Uh, yeah, that easy. <laughs> I like things like that. Mm -hmm. What about we do one too? What do you reckon? Okay. okay. So what do we need? Uh, we need a plastic bag. Scissors. String. Plastic bag, scissors and string. Yeah. Okay. I just happen to have some that I prepared earlier. First, you have to cut the handles off the plastic bag. Then you cut down both sides and across the bottom of the bag. You fold both pieces in half and cut along the fold. Then you fold those pieces in half and cut along that fold. There should be eight squares of the plastic bag. Okay, so we've got all the squares cut out and it's going to end up looking like this. How are we going to do that? Well, let's find out. Okay, let's see. We'll have one for you, one for you, Shuri, and one for you, Wakana. Okay, so what do we do next? Now we just fold it over like this way, then flip it over. So just like we're folding a fan. Yep. Does it matter how deep your folds are? Nope. Oh. You tie the folded plastic bag together in the middle with a string or raffia or a strip of plastic bag. Tie it tight. Great. So what are you doing there, Koto? Cutting into like an arrow shape. Okay, yep, okay, so you're cutting it into a point? Yeah. Lots of layers of plastic to cut through. Yep. You've all got pointy bits at the end? Yep. Magic. So now what do we do? Now all you have to do is separate each piece of bag and spread them out, one at a time. Three different sizes and three different finishes. Let's put them all down together and have a look at them. <laughs> awesome. Put this one in the front because that's, that's the littlest. It's the cutest. Look at that. Wonderful. I like how the different colours are going through that as well. Wow, three different effects with the same kind of make, really, isn't it? You've got yours a much sharper point on the end. Yours are slightly more rounded. Very effective. So what do you use these guys for? Once, once you've made them, what can you do with them? You can um, like stick it onto the wall in your room to make your room look more colourful. Mm -hmm. Sure. What you can it? string through here and then hang it, like make little ones and then hang it across your wall. Very cool, that is awesome, thank you. So easy to make. What we'll do is we'll put some information on the website, susie.co.nz, we'll put the information there, maybe a PDF for some of the photographs, or you can go back and watch the video as many times as you like to find out how to do it. We don't mind, do we? Nope. No. No, <laughs> great. <laughs> and we'll have some new guests again next week on Susie and Friends. Thanks for joining us. Remember, if you're enjoying these clips, like, subscribe, maybe even share. And we'll have a new guest next week. For more information, head to suzy.co.nz. See ya.